Perseverance is NASA's latest robotic vehicle whose mission is to explore Mars. On February 18 of this year, NASA and the world watched as Perseverance successfully set foot on the Red Planet in a region called Jezero Crater. That day was a historic achievement for science even in the midst of a global pandemic. Now, Perseverance is four months into its exploration of Mars. What has it seen? Has it made scientists rethink what they know about the planet? Let's find out. What is the purpose of the Perseverance rover? Perseverance is part of a larger collective known as the NASA Mars Exploration Program. The U.S. Space Agency actually has an entire department devoted to shedding light on the mysterious nature of the Red Planet. Since we still can't send astronauts to Mars, NASA has sent in a team of robots to do the job. Perseverance is one of them and is the newest one so far. Previously, NASA has landed four rovers on the Martian surface, and these are Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity. As of now, only Curiosity remains operational on the planet. The purpose of these Mars rovers is to explore the surface of the planet and send back images and scientific data to NASA. The rovers are basically science labs on wheels, collecting rock samples, air samples, and capturing photos for NASA scientists to analyze. Perseverance is built for the same purpose. Specifically, the rover is meant to address the potential for life on the Red Planet. Its mission is to look for habitable conditions as well as signs of microbial life forms. The rover would collect soil and rock samples and store them for possible retrieval in a future Mars mission. NASA hopes that these samples can be sent back to Earth for analysis even if it will take a while to fly the samples back here. Perseverance is actually the first Mars rover meant to focus on astrobiology, or the search for life outside of Earth. Aside from that, it has three other scientific objectives. One is geology. Perseverance will examine the landscape and the rocks around its landing site. Another is sample caching, where it will collect samples and store them so they can hopefully be recovered in the future. Last, but definitely not least, Perseverance aims to test new technologies that would possibly allow humans to live on Mars someday. To achieve its scientific objectives, Perseverance is equipped with seven main scientific instruments, Mastcam Z, Meta, Moxie, Pixel, Rimfax, Sherlock, and Supercam. Let's take a look at these instruments one by one. Mast Cam Z is a binocular camera that provides perseverance with stereoscopic vision, similar to what humans have. This camera is also panoramic, so it allows the rover to see the entire Martian landscape around it. Mast Cam Z also has zoom capabilities, allowing perseverance to see from far away. Next, we have META, short for Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer. It's a set of sensors that will measure temperature, wind speed and direction, pressure, relative humidity, and dust size and shape. Essentially, this instrument will determine what the weather is like on Mars, at least in the region where Perseverance landed. Next up is MOXIE, or Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. This instrument aims to produce oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of Mars. NASA scientists project that humans would soon be able to generate oxygen both for breathing and for rocket fuel right within the Red Planet. They're using MOXIE as a proof of concept. Then there's PIXEL, or Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry. This instrument will allow Perseverance to find out the precise chemical composition of the samples it collects. Pixel is also equipped with a high-resolution camera to help with analysis. Next is RIMFAX, or Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment. RIMFAX houses a ground-penetrating radar system which lets Perseverance find out the structure of the Martian subsurface. It's not exactly deep underground, but it's right below the surface. The instrument is precise to within centimeters. Then there's Sherlock, or Scanning Habitable Environments with Raymond and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals. Sherlock is basically a Raymond spectrometer with an ultraviolet laser. 
It's meant to detect organic compounds and analyze minerals on a fine scale. Sherlock is also making history as it's the first ever UV Raymond spectrometer sent to Mars. Sherlock is not alone in this journey. It has a companion camera called Watson, short for Wide Angle Topographic Sensor for Operations and Engineering. Watson takes close-up photos of rocks and surfaces. The NASA scientists who designed this instrument must be true fans of Mr. Holmes, and it's appropriate since Sherlock is meant to investigate the Martian surface extensively. Finally, there's SuperCam, a multi-purpose camera. Aside from taking pictures, it can analyze mineralogy and chemical composition of objects on the surface of the planet. SuperCam can even detect organic compounds in rocks and soil from a distance. Aside from these seven scientific instruments, Perseverance is also equipped with a drill designed to acquire samples of Martian rock and soil. Now that we know what Perseverance is meant to do, let's take a look at what it has discovered so far. What Perseverance has found out about Mars. In its first month scouring the surface of the red planet, Perseverance has found a few similarities with Earth. For one, the rover found Martian rocks that had the same chemical composition as volcanic rocks, also known as igneous rocks. Igneous rocks form near volcanoes when molten lava cools down. This may indicate that Mars had active volcanoes in its distant past. Perseverance also observed that these rocks have been eroded by wind and water. That means the red planet's geology is active. It's not a dead planet, but a dynamic one, just like our own. A particularly interesting rock that Perseverance found is strange. It's unlike anything found on Mars ever before. The rock is green, and it has scientists scrambling for answers. They're not exactly sure if it's a native Mars rock, a meteorite, or a fragment from an asteroid impact. The rock is about 15 centimeters or 6 inches long. It's a relatively big rock and it's studded with shiny craters along the surface. The green bit, though, is still uncertain. To find out more about the mystery Mars rock, Perseverance used its SuperCam laser to blast a few small bits out of the rock. The pulverized rock parts were then analyzed by SuperCam spectrometer to find out the chemical nature of the rock. NASA scientists have yet to find out what that rock is, what it's made of, and where it's from. Before Perseverance stumbled upon the mysterious green rock, it already fired its SuperCam lasers on another rock called Maz, which is a word in the Navajo language that means Mars. Analysis from Perseverance's instruments revealed that Maz is mostly made of basalt, which is a common material found in the Martian landscape. Basalt is also a common material that composes igneous rocks here on Earth. More than that, Mars was found to have an abundance of magnesium and iron, which is exactly like the composition of Earth rocks that formed from quickly cooling lava. Perseverance has a little companion. When the rover landed on the surface of Mars last February 18, it did not come alone. Underneath the belly of Perseverance is a little helicopter drone called Ingenuity. It's the first of its kind to be sent on a Mars mission. NASA scientists sent Ingenuity along to test how powered flight would work on the Red Planet. Ingenuity first took off on April 19 of this year. It completed a simple flight plan. It took off, ascended to three feet or one meter above ground, hovered in the air for a short time, turned, and then landed. This tech demo proved that powered flight is possible in the Martian atmosphere, which has a thinner atmosphere than Earth. Also, this is the first ever powered flight that succeeded in a planet other than our own. Ingenuity completed two more flights after this first one. For those, Ingenuity flew farther away and climbed higher. Now, Ingenuity is doing an operations demonstration. This phase of the project aims to show how land-based rovers and flying ones can work together to explore Mars more efficiently. Now five months since its historic landing, Perseverance continues to, well, 
persevere in achieving its goal of finding signs of life on Mars. While it hasn't found any yet, NASA scientists hope that it will. Even if those are signs of ancient life on the planet that no longer exist today.